I hear from a lot of conservatives that the tax credits in the Republican bill are a new entitlement. Now, from I, I, I love your facial reaction, so maybe you can, <laughs> you can put that into words. How, how new or different is this, are these tax credits in the Republican bill, especially when compared to the Affordable Care Act? The biggest entitlement related to taxes in our health care system is the uh, tax exclusion for employer-sponsored coverage, which provides much greater subsidy to the affluent than to the $16 an hour worker. So to some extent, whether it's an ACA subsidy mechanism or a refundable tax credit mechanism, we're moving towards more of at least a rough balance between the employer-based market and the individual market uh, when we go in that direction. So uh, is it a new entitlement? Well, something I think some people have focused on what's the refundable part. You don't pay any taxes, but yet you're going to get this check. Yeah, people can make that point, but I think it more broadly in the big picture is, A, I am convinced that the median voter favors some significant support for lower income people to buy health insurance and equalizing, moving towards a system where you get at least a more comparable tax treatment for lower income versus affluent income people seems to me to be very, very important. And I don't regard that type of equalization by itself as being any type of a new entitlement. To be sure, the elephant in the room, if not today, then maybe next year or the year after, is federal spending and the federal budget deficit. I think everybody has to pay close attention to the cost of whatever comes out. And I can understand why some players are very concerned about expanding spending. But I, but, uh, I think I've said enough except to say this idea that this is a new entitlement and we don't want to do anything. Uh, strikes me as a non-starter politically, except maybe if you're trying to get a little attention for your future aspirations.